Hey, Summit Heights, good morning. This is Edward, and you know Jake. He's here in a pink shirt. It takes a strong man to wear a pink shirt, Jake. I'm a strong man, and you're a little underdressed. Uh, I am, but I had to go take care of something, so that's why I didn't get dressed up for you this morning. So, hey, this is your weekly update, so make sure you share this on all your platforms, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, uh, whatever platform you have, and make sure you share that. We've got a couple things we're going to be mentioning. And, uh, you said you had a couple things. We got membership coming up. We got um, membership the fourth share. Sunday, May 23rd. Sign up for that though in advance if you can. Uh, you will have the communication cards if you're in person. Contact card online. Just put on there that you want to be a part of membership. That way we can get a head count. We're also gonna have grief support this Sunday, even though it's Mother's Day. A lot of mm -hmm. people are still gonna to wanna to be a part of that ministry. And so, uh, depending on how long Edward preaches, you know how he is, uh, we're gonna to try to start that about 11.30. So yeah, make sure you uh, know that he said it's Mother's Day this Sunday. Hey, I got Ashley an awesome gift for Mother's Day. You wanna tell us what it is? Yeah, as long as y'all don't say anything, bought her a chainsaw. Yeah. Did you really? Oh yeah, man. That way she can help me trim some trees and stuff like that. That's awesome. I dude. think she's going to be excited. That's awesome. You know, Father's Day is coming up. You could buy me a chainsaw for Father's Day. No, oh, you can use the one I bought her. I bought her. That's you can come awesome. help us. I just told Danielle this last week I needed a new chainsaw. Yeah. This is perfect. Well, hey, you we're wait, like brothers. You, you know? ask. I, I would ask Ashley because it's going to be hers. I tried to get her name engraved on the chain, but they said they don't do that. <laughs> on the chain, that's right. Hey, it is Mother's Day this week, and so I, I'm gonna be talking about the value of women this Sunday. And I read an article this last week about uh, a lady who came to Christ, and the, the reason she fell in love and became a Christ follower is because when she read the scriptures, she was so impressed of how Jesus valued women in his ministry, and it just moved her. Uh, and there's a whole lot of people out there that have different views and different things. We're not going to get into politics. We're not going to get into all that. We're going to look at how Jesus valued women in the New Testament in his ministry. And I hope it's going to be an encouragement to you. Uh, I was praying this morning, coming back while I go. And, um, I, you know, I think there's also an encouragement to us men and how we treat our wives and That's our right. daughters and other women in ministry. And so I'm excited to preach that this Sunday. And uh, as we're going through this series of God and answering some of those questions that we have going on. Also, I want to mention this. I know we're doing communion a little bit different now. And uh, so kind of want to walk you through that, you know, as you guys go and do communion, um, it's open communion. Some churches practice closed communion where you've got to be a member of their church. We practice open communion, which means this, if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ and you're a follower of Jesus Christ, then we invite you to take communion. And the way we do that is after we do our offering talk and after we do some announcements and we take our offering, we then worship together by taking communion. So you go to these tables on the outside and in the back and you take the bread and the cup and you either pray alone, you pray with someone that you came with or in a small group setting. And uh, it, it's, it's really a great thing of worship together. And then we come back into the seats and uh, we worship together before the word comes. Hey, and I may get in trouble for this, but I don't care. If you are watching online, okay, you're not coming back in person, you're watching online and you want to be a part of that. We want you to be a part of that. If you need some elements, we have some leftover elements from when we were doing the little cups yeah. and juice. Yeah. Contact me today, come mm -hmm. by, pick you up three or four. We'd love for you to be able to take communion at home yeah. with your family while we're taking communion together as a church. Yeah, and that video that plays online, uh, it, it's, it, we're, we're working on that and kind of bringing a different element there. So be patient with us. I saw some comments that they're just seeing that video over yeah, and over yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. So we're making some changes there and uh, hopefully in June, you'll start seeing some things a little bit different on our online experience. So just be patient with us. You guys have been patient with us and when we've made some changes like that and we're again making some changes around that area. So excited about Sunday, excited to Summer's almost here. It's hard to believe that uh, just a couple weeks There's only weeks like away. a week and a half left of school, I think. Yeah. Hey, I want to I want to compliment this guy. He doesn't know I'm about to do this, but I had a phone call yesterday with a really good friend of mine. We've known each other since second grade. 
and uh, we were visiting yesterday and he watches us online every week and uh, he just wanted me to tell you that dude he is so proud of you and the job that you did a couple of weeks ago when you preached and he wanted me to communicate that to you and I was gonna call you yesterday I thought you know what I'm gonna celebrate you oh, yeah. on this video and yeah. I'm, I'm proud of who you've become Thank how you. you've um, grown over these years that we've known each other and man just continue to do that he said your message a couple of weeks ago was phenomenal it, it, it brought him to tears at one point and uh, so you're doing a good job and I appreciate you doing that and uh, wow just, I'm trying it, to thank you say I'm trying to think about who this might be you don't know him you've known him since second grade you don't so know that him. You makes don't know him about 74 yeah somewhere in there somewhere in there huh. if you're watching this bro we're not 74 right <laughs> so uh, anyway. yeah, but I appreciate it thank you yeah it, it's just it, it's, it's fun to get to see There may be together. a chain. If Edward tells me who you are, there may be a chainsaw coming your way. <laughs> oh, he would like he, he would like that. So, hey, Summit, we love you. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Remember, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, Jake. 10 o'clock. Yeah, so uh, if you come early, we'll put you to work. You come late, well, you're just going to miss. So uh, join us online. Thank you for continuing to join us online. We value that. And uh, thank you for your faithfulness and giving and supporting summers coming up, all the camps, all everything that's happening. We're, we're, it's gonna be a great summer uh, this year. So I had, by the way, great crowd last week too, just almost standing room only. I was uh, pumped, man. Yeah, so that hopefully this awesome. Sunday it'll be the same. We love you. We'll see you Sunday morning. Share this on your platform, Summit.